The Rode VideoMic Pro is a fantastic addition to any on-the-go creator kit. Affiliate link in the video description. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater, and I I forgot to cover this last week, but oh dear God, what the hell, Sony? What the hell? You guys were are not even were are starting to sell clean versions of movies, uh, and you're not telling the directors, which is pretty freaking fantastic too. So if you aren't aren't, aren't familiar with this one. Sony announced last week that they're going to start selling clean versions of their films, basically very sterilized, family-friendly, PG-rated versions of some of their films, uh, kind of like, uh, let's see, Step Brothers, Spider-Man series, Captain Phillips, and Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. I, I, I don't quite know what they're going to do in that one. Granted, it's been a long time since I've seen Crouching Tiger. I don't remember there being much of a problem with that. I also don't really understand why the fuck they're going to be selling it. Spider-Man movies, on the other hand, they're really not that bad I, at all. I, there's barely any swearing. There's really no blood unless they want to kind of cut out the scene with Uncle Ben getting stabbed and maybe Spider-Man macking on Mary Jane a little bit uh, or any kind of nipples. There might have been from Mary Jane as well. And I think there, there was a little bit during the upside down kiss in the rain when he zings out and she bounces and it bounces and <laughs> it was nice. But the point I'm trying to get to here is that the, there's not a lot in the Spider-Man movies that would really need to be kind of cold for a pg friendly public consumption but uh, they are they're doing it right and they're they're selling this on um on like online services like itunes as well as airline and uh broadcast tv editions are being uh bundled with the film so it's like oh you can buy the family friendly version of step brothers now step brothers has 152 instances of bad language 91 instances of sexual content and 22 instances of violence those have all been basically scrubbed clean for this version and its director adam mckay is pissed saying through a representative that uh that this wouldn't happen basically that there's, there's uh there's no way this would have happened he he wasn't told about it sony says that he was told about it but i'm more inclined to believe Adam McKay at this particular point because Sony is going through an entire clusterfuck uh, when it comes to their film department. But they also go on to say here that this is a pilot program developed in response to specific consumer feedback that offers viewers the option of watching an airline or TV version of certain movies when they purchase the original version. Yeah, no, you know what they're trying to do. They're trying to find a way to squeaky clean this shit in order to put it and pump it into Walmart. And you know what? It's not the first time that it's happened. All right. Back in 2001, there was a little comedy that came out called Josie and the Pussycats. And if you haven't seen it, you are missing out on so, so, so many brilliant, perfect levels. Not only is it a great musical in some respects, uh, it, it, it is an absolutely great satirical take on uh, reboots of cartoon shows in the movies. It's a, uh, a great satirical take on how we market uh, to children uh, in terms of advertising. It is fantastic. And if you go to Walmart and look in their DVD bin, like the $5 DVD bins, you might come across a family-friendly version of the film. This movie, while it wasn't necessarily over the top in terms of how it was presented, Tara Reid was bouncing around throughout a lot of it, and there was a lot of adult humor kind of peppered throughout, and so they scrubbed all of that to make it PG or to bring it down. Now, these 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 kind of squeaky clean versions of the films, they're not going through the MPAA. They're not going to sit there and have that classification and that rating assigned to it. And the other thing to remember here, too, is when you go and you watch a, an edited for TV film, that, by the way, just, just, just for many of you out there who don't know this, it's like an entry-level position. Have you ever watched edited for TV films? There are times where entire subplots are cut out of the film for time, for time and for content. There are times when so many things are cut from the movie. You watch it and you're like, I don't even know what the fuck I watched. And it's one of the reasons why people aren't really wanting to watch those much anymore. What we're seeing now is Sony attempting to cash in on the downfall of uh, or on their backlog content because the, their, their current theatrical runs ain't making any money and they hope that by presenting this family-friendly, squeaky clean version of their films, they'll be able to find an, alter an alternate revenue source, which is another reason why I'm thinking that they're going to start looking for a seller or for a buyer here pretty goddamn soon. Because here's the thing, no one in Hollywood supports this, period. 
No, no blogger, no reviewer, no critic, no actor, no director. No one is even remotely in, on board with this. But Sony's like, no, we've heard from specific customer feedback. I'll tell you what that customer feedback is. That customer, customer feedback is an organization out of Utah that would take movies and they would family friendlyize them and then sell them back to people in that community. And they got sued out the ass multiple times and had to close up shop trying to argue that it was like part of some religious freedom to edit these films. Yeah, you can edit them down all you want if you own a fucking copy. You can't resell them, dumbass. That's not how the system works. But Sony doing it with their own shit. Now that's just bypassing that shit going right into the middle of fucking religious America that's afraid of boobies, afraid of sexualized content, afraid of swearing. Yeah, fuck you. All right, all you're doing is is hiding your children away from what life is really about. For when they get old enough and they discover the fact you can Google tits on the internet, it's going to take them not long to go from tits to hardcore tentacle porn. And then they'd be Kurt Eitenwald. The point I'm trying to get through here is this is a bad idea. Sony cleaning up these films is a bad fucking idea. We don't need movies to play the babysitter in kids' lives. We need parents to actually stand up and have conversations with them about what is real and what isn't. I remember when I was like five or six my mom was on a date and i was sick and hanging out with her best friend's mom my aunt elsie old jewish woman hated the world she sat down and we're like she's like what do you want to watch and i'm like i don't know let's flip through tv and we turn on jaws 3 now to a five-year-old that is a scary fucking movie right and it jaws comes up bites off some chick's leg or something and i'm like ah and she's like that's fucking ketchup that's ketchup it's not real it's ketchup you know, and the whole time she's like completely telling me that this shit is not real, that this shit is a movie, that it's fake. It's not going to actually hurt me. And I remember that as one of my all time favorite experiences. For one, it was hysterical. And two, this is no nonsense. But now we're not seeing that now. We're not, we're not getting that elderly, angry Jewish woman to come yell at us that it's not real. We're getting studios that are trying to push these things through, through uh, in order to make more money. Sony doing it is just hysterical to me because of, of the fact that 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 they're that they're basically on their on their last legs and they know it. So this is the time. And also, also, I'm just this is again this is a theory, working theory. Uh, if they clean up these films, they could then sell them into these you know middle America Bible Belt marketplaces. And if it doesn't work out the way that they want or it's not as profitable, when they eventually sell to Disney, because I still think that's going to happen, uh, Disney can then come in and take over that marketplace because they already know how to market these films to that region (laughs) and those regions as it is. So they'll be able to come in, pick it up, and make a lot of money. So anyway, what do you guys think about this? Is Sony doing the right move? Is this a good alternative revenue source? Or is it just a last desperate plea of a dying company? These are things I want to know. Go ahead and let me know in the comments. My name, of course, is Matt Jarbo. This is 3 Theater. I'll talk to you guys later. Have yourself a fantastic day and peace out.